and we are here for uh, the last part of our series showing how to run a uh, big data pipeline uh, project and in this part I want to just to show you how to run the um, uh, batch processing that I mentioned last time that was, is this part here so we already went through this uh, flow and now you need to run our batch uh, processing from uh, Hadoop uh, distributed file system and so this is it's pretty straightforward it's just basically run this uh, version of the script but oh, I'm gonna do this different so I'm gonna run this uh, local and because in fact when you are working with uh, Spark and you need to debug and do all those um, things that is needed for the developing process and how you are doing you cannot really um, debug and develop and test and in, in, in an easy way so I'm going to run, show you how to run this project in local uh, instead of send the final jar to the cluster so uh, basically what we are doing uh, we are you have our jar and you are sending to the spark cluster that inside docker and in this way you cannot uh, add breakpoints and uh, debug your application right so how you're gonna do it run it local and for that you will need to install spark local because you're not going to use the the docker version anymore okay uh, so what you going uh, what you need to do is uh, do a couple of changes in order to run it local right so you can see here in the in the git uh, what you needed to change so i need to uh, comment what you was saying that was provided and just remove those things and also in the batch processing we we were um, pointing to uh, the distributed version of our file our properties and we have also a local one that you need to to use right so here you have the local you can see the local and then this is the using docker so if you are you need to point to this one here and here you put your configuration so here you can see that it's my local one so you, have, you need to change to look to yours okay and basically uh, you to run that for example the processing one uh, there is this local file here that was changing and you just run it so for example you run here and you can see on the local thing that you are saying that where the master is based and you're saying it's local when it is our not local one for example it will be pointing to a uh, spark master that it's known uh, that it's set up in our in our docker compose right so instead of pointing to a remote one can be any address uh, you point to local one then it's going to be running local and this way you can uh, add breakpoints in in everything right so let's stop this one here and let's just run the batch process version so i have added uh, so first you need to run the streaming in order to produce some data here and then from here uh, the batch is gonna read from this uh, data and process and do the all calculation right so i already wrote this i already generated this thing and now i'm gonna just run and debug and i'm gonna see Uh, it's running Yeah, you can see that it stopped here, and it's a normal flow. Right, so running, and then 
to generate our processing. And that, so for confirming this, you just go to the uh, Cassandra and you can see the data there. So I think it's all. Um, so go through the, the, the code here. There is many interesting things. There is some stateful uh, processing. There is, there is very interesting uh, transformation. There is also uh, how to broadcast uh, variables across the, the cluster and many interesting things on this project. So I really uh, think worth you go dive into that. Okay. So thank you very much. That's the end. Um, also, I would like to mention that I have other uh, open source projects as well. So for example, if you are interested in big and uh, Microsoft, sir, uh, you have this very amazing and complete and professional uh, architecture here that you can have the same uh, as we are having here with another architecture, right? So yeah, thank you very much and see you in the next project.